Hi, welcome to Pimp Plays. Uh, this episode is Salt Wildfires. Uh, I did this last year on Twitch, and I'm just re-upping the video now. So enjoy. So let me just play my version. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. So I'm going to just go start with the drums. And the drums should be, let me just solo them. Okay, so it's really simple drums, kicks, kicks up uh, here, kick, and then claps are here. Move that over. And hi hat. So it goes kick, snare, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick. And there's a hi hat. It's really low in the mix. Uh, but there's one there. It's nice and simple, and it's just re-emphasizing some of the main notes. Um, the main things to note on the drums is I doubled up the drum sounds and I filtered them. So one is just the low end, one is just the high end, and they're playing together. But there's a point in the song where it drops down. Let's see if I can find that over here. And it's just the sort of heartbeaty low version. So. That's the original, and then the my one. So it's just in there. Uh, and then the other thing is the claps and the snares. So the snare is it's there, and then the claps are layered. One, two, three. And this is the interesting one. I put a spring reverb on it because you can hear on the original song. You can hear the spring reverb play out just on that last snare. So just here. So um back to my one. Just the drums. So I'm processing those. Um and then I've put a drum boss on it. An EQ just to shave off some of the high end. It's still a bit too high end. Uh, I've got myself a compressor to glue it together, and then the Fab Filter Saturn just to get a bit of tonal without and with it. So just giving it a bit more presence. Uh, next thing, let's listen to the original song again. So bass, real simple. I literally only had to do this once and I just pitch shifted it up and down. So uh, I'm using Modo bass uh, and that's the 70s P, 70s P bass preset. So if I put it on this and it goes something like. One thing I haven't added, which they have in the original song, is it sounds like they've got a real bass just doing a little fill overdub just at the ends. Just hear that on the left side there. And um, I haven't got a real bass, so I can't actually do that. Um, but yeah, real simple, just a D, D to A sharp, so solo, solo this. And then all I had to do was shift it all up by, uh, to the F, so that's from one, two, three, just went up three. Three and then it goes back down 
or does it go to C? It goes up three, and then it goes down to that one, so then it goes back down five to the root. So real, real simple. Um, let's go and listen to the original song again. So we've got the bass and the drums nailed down. That just loops for the entire song. Okay, so the next thing, if you can hear, is a sort of almost Twin Peaks-esque um, pad. So that's soloed my version of it. Now, because it reminded me of Twin Peaks, I looked up to see what Twin Peaks used for their soundtrack, and they use a Roland D550. Now, I don't have a D550, but I have a plug-in for D50, which is pretty close, and I used the soundtrack setting. And then, so listen, have a listen to it without. Pretty gnarly. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, remember that for later. I'm gonna save that and make a song for our channel. But anyway, their one is really subtle. Um, so I used an EQ. I shaved off everything. Everything above 350, 360, just to give it a sort of warm background thing. And then I added a reverb that looks like the Valhalla with the Blade Runner preset and then turn the mix down. That just sort of spaces it out a little. That goes in the background. Uh, and again, you do it once, it loops out. So the only thing. Um, I didn't do, which is in the original, is I didn't do the piano, which their piano comes in just here at bar 60. And it's really subtle, it's really quiet in the backgrounds. Just about here. Yeah. And it's kind of, um, sounds like old timey piano. So what I did, let's unmute this one. I use Keyscape. I use a wing upright. Let's turn the EQ off. So it should be something like. Now I haven't added it in because I mean they just sort of go to town with it. Let me let me play my version and see if I can little improvise around it. So it's a bit too chunky. EQ it again, take off all the low end. Now it's really thin. And the other thing I did is I added some reverb, which is just the, the sort of stock Ableton one, just left it as it was. Um, I really need to change that actually because it's, it's not my favorite, but it works. And for the key parts, I just um, octave. So what's that? The D sharp. And then up the three notes to the next black notes. And then down to C sharp. It's all the black notes, so I can just... about and it will work um so the very last thing i did is i extracted the acapella from the song so i could place it over the top of mine um let's, let's unmute that now i'm just going to go back and forth between that's the original song. This is my one. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the pads a little. And you know what? They're not as wide. So for me to fix that, I'll probably use something like a BX. Although there's loads of plugins which will make a sound more centered. But the BX for me is fine. 
Uh, let's have a look. DX digital, DX digital. Whack it on. I'm just going to turn the stereo width down. Where have you gone? Just a little bit. So that's the, uh, this is my version, this is the original. Pretty, pretty close, so I'm happy with that. Now, I literally just shadowed the song. Um, I worked out the bass, the drums and the pads, I played the original song over it. And then when something different happens, I would then change, I'd work out what it was, change it. And that's it. It's a really simple composition. The uh, the pads drop out. So I shadowed that. And then as far as drums, there's a little drop down here where it's just the low drums on their own. So there's a much a little bit clearer than mine, but mirroring. So there you go. That's my little Ableton tutorial. Um, it's a really, really good exercise. Find your favorite song, put it into Ableton, get the tempo set the same, and then shadow it, mirror it, and try and work out what they did. You'll get a deeper understanding of production of. Um, songwriting. It's just a really good exercise. It shouldn't take you more than an hour or two. Um, and you'll find you'll end up using those things that you learn in your own songs. Um, you don't have to copy them. You can just say, okay, well, I'm going to double up my basses or my kicks in the future so that I have the opportunity to, you know, make one like a heartbeat or something just for a drop down. Just play it out. Oh, did I explain the piano? I think I did. So yeah, I didn't have the piano earlier. I streamed earlier and uh, the stream didn't work and I hadn't added the piano. So that's all done. That's everything. So uh, thanks for watching. It's been a fun little uh, tutorial. And uh, please subscribe. So uh, cool. Catch you guys later. Peace.